What's up people and welcome to this video guys. We have a lot to talk about in this video guys. So we are just gonna go and jump directly into the videos. So let's go and do it. Oh, okay. I'm sorry for interrupting this video. We will be continuing very very soon. But before we do that, I just wanna go and say that Come To Us is launching a new game called Skylanders Ring of Heroes. Maybe you've heard of Skylanders before. Well, soon you can go and play it on both iOS and Android. And now you might be thinking, but Pupanda, what is Skylanders Ring of Heroes? It's a turn-based RPG, which is very different from other turn-based RPGs. Because, for example, you don't have to wait to keep attacking your enemies. As long as you have mana and cooldowns on your skills, you can keep attacking your enemies. You also have a lot, a lot of different Skylanders, which you can go ahead and pick of them with very unique styles and amazing artwork. So this game will be releasing uh, soon. You can go ahead and pre-register to get some great rewards and some information about the launch. You can also go ahead and follow them on their social medias to get more updates about the game. So as you can see on this gameplay right here, this is kind of how the game works. But it's actually a lot more to it. You have mana, you have cooldown, you have different elements on your Skylanders, which you have to consider when fighting different opponents. And like I said before, there is a lot of heroes. And one thing which I absolutely love about this game is just the heroes. I think they look very, very cool. And I think come to us, they put in a lot of detail to these heroes to make them look very unique and very awesome at the same time but yeah thanks to come to us for sponsoring this video let's jump back into the video first of all uh, in the next update I think is 0 0.11 or 11.0, whatever it's called, okay? We will be getting the new weapon G36C for Vikendi, okay? And if you don't really know what weapon this is, I will go ahead and link uh, a video down in the description when I'm actually playing with this weapon, okay? On PUBG Mobile, yes, you have been right, okay? I already have gameplay on that, but it will be releasing to the global version uh, on the next update, which is said to be coming out like on the 20th of March, so basically, in one month, uh, almost exactly, so that's pretty cool, but it's a new weapon, it's an assault rifle, uh, it's, I think, if I remember it correctly, it has single fire and it has an, uh, what do you call it, an automatic uh, spray version as well. So I played around a bit with this weapon, I don't think it's the best weapon from what I played around with it, but that was on the beta version. Or on the shiniest version, I don't really remember, so my, my ping, my MS wasn't really that great, but it didn't really feel so stable, and so I it just felt like a, a worse version of like M4, basically. But uh, like I said, I haven't really played uh, play with it so much, so just go ahead and wait and see, okay? Usually it takes a long time to actually, you know, get to learn the weapon, okay? First time I play with the G... BC, what is it called? The new weapon for Sanok, which came out like three months ago. First time I played with it, uh, I thought it was terrible. Now it's like my favorite weapon in the game. So, you know, it takes a while to learn how to play with certain weapons. And uh, it's probably the same thing with this. But from my experience, when I played with it, it didn't really feel like a strong weapon. It just felt very hard. Like it had much recoil. It used 556, so it didn't have much damage. Just overall, felt like not the best weapon, just like a basic weapon, okay? We'll just have to wait and see. So, there you have uh, that new weapon. And then we're also in the next update, which will be coming for global version. We'll be getting the new Tuck Car, which is it's basically like a small taxi for three people. It's very, very slow. It's honestly probably really useless, but it looks fun, okay? I know I will probably hate this in the game, but look at that. Wait, wait for it. Look at this. <laughs> it's... There you can see the speed, it is very very slow, okay? You can only be three people. Uh, the only good thing about this, I guess, is that it's pretty small. So I guess it's not the easiest target to hit. But it's very slow, you can only be three people in it. It probably doesn't have a lot of health. I don't know, it just feels... Uh, it's gonna definitely be an experience playing with this. <laughs> But I think it looks very, very cute, and I'm definitely looking forward to this being released in the game. It looks very, very fun. It's gonna be called Tuck Shy, I think. 
pretty cool. And then another thing which will be added into the game on the next update will be canted sight. And basically what this is that you'll be able to have two scopes on certain weapons and then it can easily switch between those scopes without going into your bag and adding a new scope or using the button, the switch button. So now you can just go ahead and tilt it as you can see on this video right here. What do I feel about this? I think this is a great uh, feature which they've added in to uh, PC. I think this is a terrible uh, thing to do on mobile, okay? I don't, I don't see the actual use of this in mobile because we can already go ahead and switch sites on mobile. So they adding in this, I don't see the reason for them doing it because, I don't know. <laughs> okay, maybe it's a bit faster, okay, but it just, in my opinion, it just feels like it's just gonna be another bottom which will take up space on your phone. Uh, I don't really see, you know, the the purpose of this because they added in, you know, the switch, so you can really fancy switch between any scopes you have on any weapon, and this only works for certain weapons as you can see right here as well, it doesn't work on every single weapon, so I honestly think this is really bad, I don't understand why they're doing it, but like I said before about the G36C, we can't really judge it before we have played with it, but it, right now I kind of feel like it will just be another button which will take up space on your screen, hopefully you can choose if you don't want it or not. Here we have an image of a new jacket that will be coming out in the next uh, season, I'm not completely sure if this is from the season pass or what this really is we will just have to wait and see here we have another one which is a sleeveless biker jacket um, looks pretty cool I guess and then we're also I'm not completely sure this is honestly very very cool but they're gonna be adding in a joker set as you can see right here so this is basically from the Batman uh, series you can have the, the joker outfit right here which I think is pretty cool, but are they doing some kind of a collaboration with DC or what is going on right here? I'm not completely sure. They also have this for Harley Quinn, which is also really cool. I know a lot of people will be hyped about that. But the thing you guys probably have waited for the most during this entire video is the new map, Ven Venezia. Venezia? Venezia! I'm not completely sure how to pronounce that. I'm not completely sure if this will be coming in the next update, most likely not, okay? This will probably be in at least 2-3 months, I don't think this will be coming in the next month, but we do have an image right here of the actual map, and you know, it looks pretty cool. I'm not completely sure the size of it, but it looks to be pretty big, okay? But uh, if PUBG Mobile and PUBG know what the other maps, how it works before, this will most likely not be a map similar to the size of... Uh, Miramar because everybody hate Miramar. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Almost everybody hate Miramar just because it's so freaking big. Okay. It is too big. Uh, yeah. So hopefully this is smaller than that. Hopefully it's around the same size as a wrangle. That will probably be the perfect size. A wrangle is a perfect size map almost. So could probably be a bit smaller than that. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. I'm definitely looking forward to more information on that map and if you want to stay tuned for more information about that click the subscribe button down below as well as the like button it always helps but guys i hope i'll see you next video but as always thank you for watching